Hello, ECHS beneficiaries. This is uh, Commander Santanam, Helping Hands for ECHS. Is very happy to bring you video number 115. This is the fourth video in the video series on upgraded ECHS mobile app, its features, and how you can use it to get the benefit. You can get benefit by using this anywhere, anytime. This video will cover how to log in, log out of eClinic. Next one, how to change the login pin. And the third one, how to reset the login pin. A quick recap. On the upgraded ECHS mobile app, I have launched three videos so far. Kindly see these videos. The first one is an introduction, installation and registration of the new user. Next one is Empaneled Hospital, how to find an ECHS contact. Third is about how to get the claim status and 64 KB card status. All these three, as I mentioned, do not require login to eClinic. Number two important point to note, in order to use the ECHS mobile app, you need 64 KB card number. If you have temporary slip, it will not work. So let's go forward about login to eClinic and log out of eClinic. This is a basic starting point for using many features which requires login to eClinic. Once you installed and registered, you will have this icon in your mobile. Oh, no. Drag it to your home screen so that it is very easy to launch in the future. Click on this icon. You will always be taken to this screen. This is a home screen. Here, enter the smart card number. Let us say primary beneficiary is you, your smart card number and the four digit pin which you set during the registration, either in this version or in the previous mobile version. Enter that. Supposing you enter 2024, only dots will be see, shown. If you click on this I icon in all the screens, if it is available, you will see the actual digits so that you don't make a mistake. Click on log login to eClinic. Here's the first step. Immediately, you'll be taken to the profile page, which will have your photograph of the person whose card number has been used here relation, card number, mobile number, which is registered or associated with this and various other you know options. We will cover these in detail one by one in the future. And as you scroll down this page, you will also have a lot of these features, you know, which are options available and uh, some information on appointments, etc. For this particular video, the next step after logging in is click on this profile icon. Below this profile will be written. Click on this, you will be taken to this screen. We are going to talk about how to log out. Quite simple, click on log out. Moment you click on log out, this message will appear on the screen on top itself. I have shown it as a separate screen just for clarity. But this will be a superimposed screen. It will say, you, are you sure you want to log out? You say yes or no. If you say yes, you, are, you back, come back to the, uh, the home screen where you have to log in again or you can do other features without logging in. So basically, first action is this. This is what is visible. This one and this one. This is a second screen. Click on this. This is a second action. This is the third action. And here you say yes. I hope it's clear. So this is eClinic login and log out. So you will be using it many times. Next one is to change the login pin. If you remember for the card number, you had registered the card number along with the pin, that four digit pin. You want to change this. Let's say originally your card number was, you know, some uh, digits and this one was 2024, for example. You want to change it today. No problems. Click on this icon, home screen, card number, existing four digit pin. Click on this. 
you will be taken to the profile page and then the home home screen with all information click on this icon profile icon you use this logout already now click on change pin next screen enter the old pin which you entered here to came up to this enter that enter the new pin let's say it is 2024 you want to make it 2023 enter it once confirm it again both should match click on change pin you will have a superimpose you will have the screen which says pin update successfully it's as simple as that so this change pin is possible only when you know the existing pin and you want to change the pin it's like changing the password regularly and everything starts with icon as i mentioned pull it to your home screen click on it so that this app gets launched the third feature this is to reset login pin that means you have forgotten your pin which was associated with your card the smart card number this pin if you remember we wrote it 2024 in the previous example you have forgotten but you so what is the next step no problems click on this icon there is a reset pin click on this enter the card number for which you have you have you have forgotten the pin click on reset pin you will get an otp to the registered mobile associated with this card number please note that okay enter that otp click on this to know that the otp is correctly entered verify otp moment you click on verify otp the screen will open enter the new pin okay the pin you have forgotten here enter pin confirm it again and put click on reset pin you will get a message reset pin the update successfully so this condition is if you have forgotten the pin and where you have to come to the here is only one where you get the otp requirement please note that but it is interactive and very simple and all messages or all description which are given helps you to know what you are going to do with this particular screen your interaction or transaction with the screen is clearly possible if you read these things otp has been sent to this enter otp verify otp that's it i hope it is clear this is a starting point of logging in pertaining to e-clinic video number 115 is this i have already described about these this is login logout change login pin reset login pin taking a lot of uh, effort to develop these videos and then launch it in youtube do not copy or reproduce please uh, without my permission however please share it to whoever you want empower all veterans echs beneficiaries veterans and their families so that they know how to get the best out of echs many thanks in advance for your support and understanding my facilities of web portal and youtube channel with the name helping hands for echs will cover 100 percent of your queries whenever you see the youtube video any one video if you see hit the subscribe button whenever i launch a new video you will get a notification in your channel if you still have doubts you can message me if there is a medical emergency and you don't have anybody else to go to I will try my best to help you. Do not hesitate to call me on this number. Jai Hind.